Great morning, holy brothers and sisters! For the 27th of Tishrei and the Kitsur Lukotei Maharan, today's lesson will be called Body Blockages. The bitterness experienced in the struggle to make a living primarily results from blemishing one's physical intimate purity. For a person who guards himself in this area, even though he engages in the 39 types of forbidden labor and in the trade, his labor is on the level of the 39 types of labor performed in the construction of the tabernacle, and it is like a dew of light. Yeshaya 26.19 the Hebrew word for du, tal, has a numerical value of 39. Du also connotes the idea of livelihood, since the sustenance of the Jews in the desert came in the form of manna, which fell in the morning with the dew, as in Bamidbar 11.9. On the other hand, one who blemishes his physical intimate purity is pursued by poverty. He draws upon himself the yoke of earning a living with great struggle and bitterness, and his livelihood is like the 39 lashes. Makos 22a. May God save us. Blemishing bodies brings bad blockages to purity and poverty pursues people. Guarding one's physical intimate purity has two levels. First, there's the person whose marital relations are also on weekdays, see Shulchan Aruch 241, but who nevertheless guards his physical intimate purity in accordance with the laws of the Torah. This person's marital relations are in the realm of the permitted, and this too is called guarding one's physical intimate purity, provided that he keeps himself from transgression, may God save us. Such a person must guard himself with great vigilance in this area. This first level of guarding one's physical intimate purity is called the lower unification, and through it one merits to grasp the legal areas of the Torah, which are referred to as secrets. There is a second type of person, however, whose marital relations are exclusively on Shabbos. This person is the aspect of the upper unification, and by means of this, he also grasps the Kabbalah, the mystical inner side of the Torah, which is referred to as secrets of secrets, Yeshaya 24.16. Even a person whose marital relations are exclusively on Shabbos must be extremely careful to conduct himself with holiness so that he may be counted among those who guard their physical intimate purity. As for the small people whose marital relations are also on weekdays, certainly they need to be even more careful that they do not blemish their physical intimate purity, God forbid, and that at least they do not transgress the laws of the Torah in this area, God forbid. When a person guards his physical intimate purity on these two levels, the honor of God is complete and he merits all the aforementioned attributes and attainments until he attains profound levels of understanding in the Torah. Lock in lofty lower levels for legal linkings. Special Shabbos attachments attain aforementioned attributes. There exists a humility whose end is actually conceit. Specifically, this refers to a person who is humble because he knows that pride is a most despicable trait. Therefore, he acts humbly in order to be honored and respected. In effect, he is humble in order to gain status and honor. Therefore, a person must monitor his own behavior very carefully and distance himself to the utmost from pride by going to the opposite extreme. As our sages of blessed memory said, be exceedingly humble of spirit, of us 4-4, for pride corresponds to the seven houses of idolatry on account of which the Jewish people were exiled from their land. What is more, the reason we have not yet returned to our land is because people pursue honor due to their own pride and conceit. May God save us. Don't do for wrong reasons. Have holy hearts to super spiritually soar. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.